all right what's good what's glorious everybody we're going to the thrift today we're going to document it for the first time this is the first time we're going to document this trip i already recorded this but the damn shit we didn't want to get right so anyways we're going to the thrift we're going to find some well we hope we're going to find some bangers we've been going to the thrift for probably i want to say three weeks to a month every single day like for the past month we've just been coming to the bins every single day we have found a lot of great stuff a lot of banger products um everything that you guys will see in this video is for sale so we're selling it all you know it's gonna be in the link and down below in the description but uh yo so as you can see we are pulling into the thrift and there's already people you can see over here camped out waiting for it to open we're probably about 15 minutes early it's rainy day so we're gonna get out here wait for the next probably 15 minutes as you know the early bird gets the worm and we try to be the early bird the early bird let me get up out of here all right oh before we before we break let's look at my brother beautiful look at this beautiful creation that's been driving us to and fro for the past couple of days because my car is just out of commission the windshield wiper i mean not the windshield wiper but what's wrong with my car uh oh the window is stuck down so we ain't been able to use my shit because it has been raining and i got a trash bag over that bit and i do not want my car soaked so my bro ain't been looking out been looking at <laughs> Hey, he he stayed joking. He'd be because my team the Saints. Oh no, he just he got some animosity towards Jameis, but it's okay. Two hours later. Okay, we are back. Uh, our thrift trip was absolutely garbage. That shit was weak as fuck. There was nothing in there to be honest with you. Uh, well, everything that was in there had got snatched up, but it's okay. That's just you know. You win some, you lose some. You can't always win, but that's why consistency is what pay the bills. So, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll try again, we're gonna see. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be anything. Hopefully, the thrift gods bless us. We got blessed up yesterday, so I guess it was just, it just wasn't our time today. Went out empty handed, um, but it's okay. You feel me, it happens, it happens. We're just gonna try again tomorrow. Alright, what's good and what's glorious? It is another beautiful day. We are heading to the bins. We're running a little late today. We ran into some little car difficulties, but it is okay. We are heading to the thrift. Um, hopefully, we find some bangers. Hopefully, the thrift lot, the thrift gods bless us today because yesterday was absolute garbage. We didn't get a goddamn thing, but it's okay because today is going to be better. We hope. You know what I mean? We run a little late, but it's all right. Uh, I'm gonna update y'all when we get there, though. So this is what the line looks like. We're here waiting. You know what I mean? Trying to see if we can't not find some bangers today. No cap. All right, the doors are open. We're live. Hey, look, look. We are live in the so far. Oh yeah, heel toe. You see him out of here. We're we're off to the races. Let's get it. Another day to pick and get right. I already see something with some rainbows down here, so I'm gonna come down here and see what that is. Uh, we're gonna start. Let's say here. I like this. So we have found an absolute dime. The Walt Disney single stitch yes sir single stitch on the Hanes beefy tag in the XL my goodness it doesn't have a back hit but it is hard nonetheless and it got a beautiful fade on it it's some classic Disney and I if y'all know me I am a Disney fan like this is I, I in dedication to this shirt I gotta go home and watch Pocahontas ASAP no Rocky Got to, 110%. See what we got here. We gotta pick through all of this stuff. We just 
you just grab it and you just you just move it. You want to move a lump sum of it. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. We got pants, not worth it. Some tights. And some other stuff. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see ya. Got a flyers. Ooh, that's nice. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I found a cool package like this. I found a Cubs one. Oh, I for got, real? Uh, yeah. That's up. Uh, I found this really cool old vintage Woolrich, too. Oh, talk to me. Let me see. Let me see. Definitely get this shit with the cam. Ooh, that's definitely tough. Mm -hmm. See the tag on that thing? It's got a back cam on it, too, but it ain't crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, North Face, that's dope. Yeah, today's probably the best day I've had in a long time. Hey, that's tough. We haven't been here in a little minute. Found this like uh 1990 single stitch Pocahontas tee. It doesn't have a back yet, but yeah, it's tough. I thought this one was this is probably my my favorite find yeah, today. Sick, yeah, then we got it. <laughs> I feel that, I feel that. Time for a checkout. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. What's the damage? Damage is 11.54. Y'all see he got the bag full of goodies. We had a good day at the Goodwill Bins. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get home. Get something to eat because we haven't eaten anything all day. Okay, the thrift guys blessed us up today. We have found some banger pieces. You got a bag full of some heat and then got a bag full of some teas. Uh, we found some heat today. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to show you when we get back. We're currently at the post office right now dropping off a package. Um, but when we get to that crib, we'll you know break down all of the stuff that we got, show you all the new stuff. And uh, yeah. And we back, and we back, and we back. So what is good? We are back at the crib. We got a whole bunch of banger products, a whole bunch of banger clothes to show you. Um, I will say that not all the stuff that we got in those past three trips, for you guys, it was three trips, but it was actually a lot of trips that we took. Um, not all of them we still have available. Some of those things have been sold already, but there is a lot of stuff that we have unreleased. No eyes have seen it. So uh, we're going to get into it. So we're going to start off with the tease because the tease is just where I want to start off. Duh. So starting it off here, we got the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger Stitch Tee. This is a Disney tee. Now, I believe this is probably a year 2K tee. It is not single stitch, but it is absolutely beautiful. And it's on a like good, good, hefty cotton. I'll be dropping a fit video with this uh, soon on the TikTok link in the description. And all of these products that I'm showing you are available for sale unless otherwise mentioned in the video. So yeah, <laughs> you can get that in the link in description on the Depop here and down below. So we have a 1998, uh, this is the Tokyo Dome. This is where the Packers played the Chiefs back in 98. You can see it has the date here, August 2nd, 1998, Tokyo, Japan. Absolutely beautiful. Now I will say that this shirt is got a couple stains on it and it'll be like pictured on the Depop, but it got a couple stains in it. So it probably won't be taxed, probably throw it up there for like $10 or something. You know what I'm saying? Come scoop that up real quick. So this shirt, I actually found this shirt that I'm about to show y'all today in the bins. And it's so crazy how I found it because it was like the bins, like a lot of people was there and it was folded up and some lady was picking the bin. It was folded up and it was just like I could see the corner of it. And I just grabbed it haphazardly, just like, let me see what this is. Then I grabbed it and I, I, I opened it. And I instantly look at the 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 
you feel me, the uh, the sleeve. I'm like, oh, this is single stitch. Oh, I could work with that, you feel me? So after that, I opened it up and looked at it, looked at the tag. We got the Hanes Beefy, but it is a 1990s Pocahontas Walt Disney tee. Absolutely dope. And y'all, I don't know if the camera is going to pick up this fade, but the fade on this jump is absolutely impeccable. This is, I guess you could say it's like a, I wouldn't say it's like a greenish blue, you know what I'm saying? A faded greenish blue, absolutely beautiful. We'll have pictures of all of this stuff on Depop. Like I said, everything is available for purchase down below. So let's keep going. We got a lot of stuff here. And I just wanna make sure I got all the tees. Was that all the tees? That might've been majority of the tees. Well, if we got any others. Um, well, they'll turn up. So we actually have this right here. I am already on a hanger, so I'm gonna just hold it up. But it is the uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., my boy Jr., uh, Bud T. And it's really more so like a, I always say it's a T, but it got a zipper right here. It's on the Chase Authentics tag. It is a size large. Got the Budweiser on the shoulders right there. It's like your racing shirt for sure. Definitely a dope one. You can see down here, got the large right there. The large badge. And here we have our Washington Warpath crew. It is an absolutely nostalgic vintage type vibe on, on the print right there. As you can see the logo, they are no longer the Washington Warpath, but you know, it's definitely a dope piece. Um, it's on the lead tag, absolutely dope, large. And then you can see on the back, it has the Warpath right there, a nice piece. Now this one is for my vintage lovers. This is the Reverse Weave Champion on the large, um, and on the large. It is a large Reverse Weave, like I said. It has a beautiful fade on it. This is a nice red champion. It got the champion badge right there. Definitely a dope piece. This is one of my favorite pieces. You look at this thing right here, you see you got the whole world. This is how I see it, because you got the globe, with the piece and it says imagine. And if you just read it, this is what it's saying. It says, imagine a world full of peace. You know what I'm saying? A world full of peace, imagine that. Wouldn't that be nice? That is the back hit, the front hit right here. Imagine with the peace sign. It is, I believe a small, so it is a small, it is acrylic polyester. Nice little, little, little feel to it, you feel me? Little, little feel to it. So right here we have the vintage Mitchell and Ness uh, hoodie. And if you know me, you know I'm a Saints fan. So this is in my Saints colors, you feel me? Home team colors, you feel me? Uh, this is a vintage Mitchell and Ness. It's a size large. It got the stitch right here, Mitchell and Ness on the pocket. It's like a velvety like texture. It's not cotton, so I don't know what it is. It doesn't really say, but it'll be listed on Depop. Just like everything else, you can find everything. All of these products are available on Depop. This one, I, this next product, I actually didn't find this at the third. I found it at my girl's brother's room and he gave me a good deal on it. So I just had to leave with it. It is the Celtics jacket. Oh my goodness, the starter Celtics jacket. The OG Authentica 90s starters Celtics jacket. It is a large. It got the big Celtics print right there. Got the three leaf clover right there on the side. Three leaf clover right there on the side. Got the NBA patch right just below the pocket. Absolutely a dime piece. And I got a still on it. So you guys are gonna get a still on it. It's available on Depop. Uh, that 90s starter Celtics, one of my favorite pieces, not gonna lie. So this piece right here, I'll actually be making a fit video with this piece um, too on the TikTok. You can follow me at Original Kyron. But that's where I'll be making the video. Um, it's a Mitchell and Ness New York Knicks uh, crew in that beautiful Carolina. And I actually have a pair of UNC one off-white ones that I'll be wearing in that video with the orange laces because it just fits too well. So definitely stay tuned for that video. Follow me on TikTok at Original Kyron. So today, this is another piece we had found in the bins. Um, we have the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, it is a crew in the black. 
It's a black crew in the orange and you feel me, Philly Flyers colorway, that orange and white. And then it's surprisingly on a Pumas tag. That's kind of suspicious. But anyways, uh, it's a large, it's definitely a dope piece. Definitely fits the vibes of this harvesting October, November type type deal. You feed me. I believe, like I said, it's a large. All of the stuff will be mentioned on Depop. Now, these next two pieces will probably be for listed for like probably $10, 5 to $10. Um, maybe even less than that. We'll see. Probably around like $5, 5 to $7. It is a 1983 Puma's hoodie. Oh my goodness. This is older than me and almost by like 20 years. It's crazy. But um, 1983 Pumas, it is a dope piece. It has a stain right here and a stain right here. That's why I will be throwing this for a dime discount um, on Depop. You can check that out. It is a medium. We have another one here, actually, and this one's not a hoodie. This one is just the long sleeve. But again, 1983, you can see right there, Puma long sleeve. Got the vintage tag right there. Has the tiger stripes or uh, scratches down the side and it says Puma right there. Um, a definitely a dope piece. This one's actually in a better condition. It has a little stain right here and right there. Uh, it'll all be pictured on Depop, but like I said, probably be going for like five to seven dollars. Now here we have the Rock Aware denim, black denim jacket. This is a large, and I believe it's like a boy's large. It is a dope, dope, dope jacket. Um, I like this embroidered patch right here. And then on the back, this is actually my favorite part about it. This is what made me get it right here. This back right here, this embroidered Rock Aware um, patch right here. And it got the uh, the, the embroidered basketball is definitely a dope piece. Got the Rockaway patch on the bottom. You feel me? Need that thing. Need that. Now this one right here, this is one of my favorite pieces. And I don't know how many times I've said that, but this is one of my favorite pieces because for one, it is the Virginia Tech, and I'm not a Virginia Tech fan, but it is a Virginia Tech jacket. Um, it is so so warm i don't wore it a couple times it is so warm on the inside right here it has like this fleece soft soft inside it just keeps you so warm and you can see it has the virginia tech right there this is a zip up um and then it says virginia tech it got the hokies on the sleeve right there but an absolutely dope back print right there with that virginia tech right there on the bike keeps you expertly warm you know what i mean exponentially Right here we have the East Carolina University uh, track jacket, vintage track jacket. As you can see, it got the, the mesh netting on the inside. Uh, NCAA, I believe this is a large, fits kind of like an extra large, but definitely a dope piece. Probably I'll make a fit video with this as well. Um, trips to the thrift fit style only TV video. So this right here, we have the Rockaware with the embroidered Rockaware Plus patch right there. This is a 1999 vintage Rockaware jacket. It is a dope red track like jacket. Um, not a windbreaker like this one, but it is a track jacket. And then it has the you know for one, I love these white um these white zippers on this red. But then you got the Rockaware Plus patch right there. Definitely a dope piece. Right here, another one of my favorites from the archive. It is an Adidas black vintage jacket right here. You can see it is made in the US of A. It is a bust down jacket. It got the stripes down the sleeve, stripes down the sleeve. And then on the back, you see the big Adidas right there, stitched on there. Definitely a dope piece, will be available for sale. Um, right here, we have our boys. North Face Blue Jacket. It is a dope North Face Blue Jacket. Um, kind of similar to the green one we had in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, definitely check it out. But uh, definitely a dope piece. Now this piece right here is one of those eye-catching pieces that just caught my eye and I just couldn't pass up on it. It is an Adidas vest. It's giving me like Indiana Jones vibes. It got the Adidas patch right here and I believe it's the coordinates to this mountain right just below it on the patch. You guys can look at that for yourself. But it has this nice Aztec um, pattern on it that I really really like right here. Especially in the colorway with this 
brownish, creamish, whatever you want to call this color, tan. Um, definitely a dope piece. Probably will make a fit video with that as well. Um, now this jacket right here, I will 110% be making a fit video. And I'll actually probably have three style me style videos with this jacket. So you guys see how I style this. But it is a rugged wear um, corduroy fleece jacket. You can see the corduroy on the outside. We've got the fleece on the inside. Definitely a soft piece. Oh my goodness, I love this. I, this is one of my favorite I done said that like three times, but this is one of my favorite pieces. I will be making like three outfit videos with this piece right here. So this piece right here is an absolute dime. Do you see this Jaguars vintage starters? This is the classic or the uh, classic team collectible vintage starters wool jacket with the authentic genuine leather on the sleeve you got the jaguars patch right there embroidered on that authentic genuine leather it is a bust down this was a dime pick it got the wool like i said authentic leather what what more do you have to say vintage uh, collectibles bust down will be available on depop you can see on the back here i got the starters badge right there on the bike stitched in there so right here we have the nike nike like fleece pants and they're i want to say they're fleece but they're i don't know what this is but they're very soft like a velvet, like a felt i felt not velvet but like a felt um type thing got this elastic band for the waist definitely uh very very soft very very soft size large okay so another piece this was actually seen um on the video you guys see me find this at first i thought it was a sweater then after looking at it i was like okay it's a blanket and then after really looking at it i found out it's a poncho and this is one of the toughest pieces because i just love the coloring on it the pattern it is so dope i would definitely like i said this would be another one of those products i make like two or three fit videos uh style videos with it so you guys can see how i style this how i how i envision this being styled like this is a dope dope piece and all of it like i said is available for sale on depop but this one is a dope piece that i will definitely be styling in the future in the very near future for so stay tuned so stay tuned okay we got some more teas here i'm gonna try to wrap it up so this video is not too long I don't want it to be 30,000 years long, but uh, we got the Joseph and the Technicolor Dream Coat 1999 vintage t-shirt with a beautiful black fade on the jerseys tag. I believe this is a size large. Nice, nice piece. You feel me? So right here we have the 2000 nba t has all the nba teams right there from the year 2000s even got the sonics blazers you got all the people on that thing you got all the teams um and on the back here you got the back hit you see it has the nba um all-stars numbers you got paul pierce you got kobe with the lakers were sporting that eight rest in peace kobe for show sure. you got jordan rocking that 23 with the Wiz. you got AI with the three um, for the 76ers. And I can't tell you these other ones, but like I said, definitely a dope piece. Okay, so right here we got the Kevin Harvick NASCAR T. This is actually the back hit. So this is the front hit right here. So I showed y'all the back hit already, but this is the front hit. It got his car on the front right there. Got the four on the side of the T. And then on the back of the T, you see it has his name and his number again on the back of the T. Definitely a dope piece with a front hit and a back hit. Right here, we have the Richmond Trigon Senior Games 1999. So another vintage T. Um, this is a nice T. Uh, not single stitch. Definitely a dope piece, though. And it is on the Hanes Heavy Cotton. So this one will probably be like, you know, 5 to $7 on Depop. Definitely go check it out. Right here, we found these two together. And surprisingly enough, they're not on the same tag. I don't know why they have two different tags, but we found them similarly together. It is the Ford um, Navy Blue Crew 
definitely a dope crew you feel me kind of blank you feel me but it's on this one right here is on the genuine original carousel um tag and then this other one right here is on the ford motor company classics um travelers and adventures tag so this one right here is a large the other one is or this one right here is an extra large the other one right here is large so we have both sizes available, large and extra large. This piece right here is actually a personal piece. This is the only personal piece in this whole batch of all of the clothes that we have seen and gone through thus far. Um, but it goes in a company with this one, which was actually um, shown on the last video. Like I said, if you haven't seen that, definitely go tap in. But it is in honor of Christmas coming up. These are my two Christmas themed uh cruise for this upcoming season so i think i will i might sell or this one is available for sale i may or may not keep it i don't know but if it's on depop you'll know that it's for sale this one is definitely being kept it got my snowman buddies on it and it says the greatest gift and he's giving him his heart and it's just beautiful um and keeping it on that christmas theme now this one is not a a wearable item <laughs> It's not a clothing item, I guess you could say, but it is still an absolutely amazing piece. It is a baby's first Christmas blanket. So if you know anybody whose baby is having a first Christmas, they need this blanket. Oh my goodness, it's so dope. You got the teddy bear in the middle with the Christmas hat on. He just out there thugging it in the middle. And I actually vision somebody having their child and sending out their Christmas photos of their baby's first Christmas, just placing them smack dab in the middle of this blanket and sending it out, you know what I'm saying? And keeping them warm for those winter days, you feel me? So this is a dope piece on the back. You just got the reverse of, of the stitching right here. Um, but that pretty much wraps, oh, actually I have one more tee. So we'll look at this one right here. This is a wolf tee, just a plain, like not a plain wolf tee, but definitely a dope wolf tee. This is um, with a set of another wolf tee that I actually have. So this is dope, um, but that is it. So let me know down in the comments below, what was your favorite piece? Um, if you have any questions, like I said, follow us at Street Heat Kicks. You can send me a message there. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, comment below what was your favorite piece. Let us know. What piece you like to see? Do you like this content? What type of content do you want to see? You want to see more vlogs or do you want to see more outfits? Let me know down below in the comments. So if you like this, definitely subscribe and turn on the bell icon. We'll be going to the thrift more and more and more and bringing you more and more banger products. Let me tell you, more and more banger products. So stay tuned. Uh, we out.